What's up? Welcome back. Nick up here at Maple Motors in Hendersonville, Tennessee. And today's test drive is this 1991 LX Mustang. This one here has got the 5.0 V8. Power steering, power brakes. Runs really well. Automatic. Convertible. Good paint. New tires. Guys, we're going to be taking it down the road, pointing out any kind of flaws so you know exactly what you're getting before you get here. Check the detailed pictures out at maplemotors.com. Financing and shipping is available. And if you hit subscribe, you can see all these videos throughout the week. We post about 10 new cars every Monday at 11. All right. It's about that time. Let's go for a ride. Before we take off, we'll look around the interior and check everything out. Place your bets. Do you think the horn works on this one? It's a little game we like to play on the channel. The seats are in great condition, along with the back seats. Pretty good shape. And across the dash, nice and clean. Showing 79,000 miles, very well can be. Uh, could be 179, but the way the car is and the shape, everything is in this thing, I'm gonna say it's probably 79 to be more accurate. Starts up good. Looks like all of our gauges are coming up, so we'll get everything working here. I don't think we need any fuel. Radio. Working. AC. Pressure just kicked on. I heard it pull down on the motor. We'll give her a second. Try the wipers. Oh, the wipers aren't working on this one. So we got wipers out. AC's already cold. Looks like that's holding. Let's see. Yeah, it's holding the car. Let off. Starts pulling the car. Good. Okay. Did you place your bets on the horn? Let's try it out. Works good. Sweet. Both sides. All right, let's take her down the road. See how she runs and drives. All right, guys. Got y'all set up in the driver's seat here. Let's go ahead and take off. Anything I see, you'll know about it. down here at Brian's Motorsports. I had to go check them out. You should definitely give them a shout. Uh, if you like car customization, they've always got something going on. We'll actually drive through here. You can see he does wheels and uh, tires. He also does stereo systems, vinyl, Forgi autos. He's got his own rat rod setup. There's lots of cool stuff down here. Again, brianzmotorsports.com. A lot of people are buying cars from us, bringing them down here and getting wheels swapped out, custom wheels. Or even doing the stereo system thing. Which that's why I'm down here. I gotta get a couple door speakers for my car. All right. Let's roll out. This thing's already feeling pretty good. I drove it down here from the lot, which is right next door. Steering's got a little bit of slack, but it's turning here and there, so that's not bad. Got a good amount of pickup hitting into the brakes. They feel great. Back into the gas. Pulls good. Feels good. Hopefully there's minimal wind noise. We do have the top down. Turn signals popping up on both sides of the dash there. Easy to drive. Suspension feels good. Now we're gonna get some undercarriage shots. Once we do that, we'll drop past the camera, let you see what it sounds like from the outside, and uh, then head back to the car lot where we're gonna be picking out the flaws, walking around the paint job, checking the top, anything else that needs to be done, it will be done in this video, guys. I'll be right back. Look below in the description and pick up some Maple Motors t-shirts and gear. We have it available. I'll be right back. Digging my bag of goodies. Let's get y'all set up on this.
Here we go, getting ready to take off. Y'all look pretty good on camera. Got you set up. Heading on back to the lot, picking out the flaws coming up next. Stick around. seems to be working other than those wipers. I don't know if the motor's out or the switch is out. Can't mess with them, see if I can get it to move, but it's not. Back in the brakes. We feel good. drive instead of overdrive there and kick it. Hey, there's another one sitting right there. How cool is that? The old bump in the road, it's actually getting a little bit bigger. I don't know if y'all remember that from the early on videos that I used to make. But there used to be a big old speed bump there and then it got like ice all over the road and it was gone. I'm not quite sure how that works, but I guess it shrunk. But it is coming back with 100 degree days. And we've made it back to the lot now. Guys, if you don't mind, hit subscribe and share this video. That actually helps me out quite a bit. Go check maplemotors.com for financing, detailed pictures. A lot of people are getting pre-approved on these cars. And picking out the flaws is next. See you later. Okay, picking out the flaws. Let's walk around this ride. Anything I find, you'll know about. Detailed pictures, maplemotors.com. Does have some light scuffs on the front end here. Those look like they can buff out. That right there is a touch-up mark. You see some cracks in the paint here. Headlights are new. You got some chips up here in the Mustang bumper. You can see spots here and here a little haziness right there in the grill up and over a touch up mark there did pick up some dirt on that test drive didn't we chip down here at the bottom Little wax left over. Light scuff. Little scuff here. Little spot in the back there on the trim. Little scuffs in the back bumper in the corner. Back that midsection. Little scratches up top here scuffs right there where the key was not put in the right spot <laughs> little spots in the door up here as well touch up marks little chip up top here touch up mark there dirt on top of the fender here also there, wiping off. A little extra black there on the paint. Front windshield. A little 
little chip. Little spot here. You also got some glue right there. Some in the corner. It's like double-sided tape up top here. Chips on the edge of that mirror. Top seal's in good shape. Let's get them keys. Go ahead and open this. Trunk here's in good shape. You got the cover for the top. The seal looks good in your jams. It's not too bad. A little paint missing there. Trunk lid on this one's not too bad either. Good deal. And shut it down. Shuts easy. Got a magnet tag on there. Looks good. Little chips right there on your black pieces on the trunk. Touch up mark right here. Tail lights look good. Little touch up mark. Dual exhaust out the back. You got a couple dimples here. Scuff in the back corner. You got some scratches back here in the back. Tires in great shape, up and over. Touch up marks. A little scratch at the bottom of the door here on the passenger side. Like chips from the tire kicking up some rocks. A little spot there. And in the corner. A scuff here. A little scuff here in the corner. A little wax left over. Pitting right there. Scratch right there. Touch up mark. Spot here in the door. Okay, made it all the way around the ride. Let's check out the inside, get her started up. So checking out the inside here. The back seat has got some imperfections up close, but overall it's in good shape. You can tell that's been pulled because the seat belts are not up through the middle there. Front seat's in good shape. Passenger seat, same way. Door opens good. The little track here. It helps your window is definitely missing a little chunk from here to here door panel overall not bad seal looks good jam looks good a little faded here from the sun steering wheel's got some dry cracks on it Dash looks good.
let's see the top buttons here so I gotta pull it back the other way here it comes good deal and it actually looks pretty good on the inside let's look on the outside of it a little wrinkly because it's been down these little pieces need to be pushed back up in there still in good shape back window's nice and clean too Same thing on this side of this piece. Goes up under there. All right, let's put that back down. Again, top button here. It's working really well. Took off. Good deal. We'll start her up. Motor's nice and quiet. Insulation under the hood. A little thorn. Hood is locked up. Spots in the corner there on the front. You got some touch-up marks as well. A few little white spots, specks. Guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. And if you did, hit subscribe because that helps me out and keeps me doing this every day. I'm literally videoing five days a week. Monday through Friday from 10 to 5. That's what time we work here. And uh, I don't stop. I'm always pushing videos out no matter what time of day it is. And it will help me out quite a bit if you hit subscribe and share it. Check out maplemotors.com. We got financing. We got shipping. We got detailed pictures. Every Monday at 11 is when I'm going to put new rides on. And again, thank you. I'll see you in the next video.